Hi guys, welcome to my channel audio video me. In today's video, I'm going to explain you what is HPF and LPF in audio signal chain. Alright, so let's just jump into the video. Okay guys, uh, so uh, HPF stands for high pass filter and LPF stands for low pass filter. Now HPF, uh, sometimes we call it low cut filter because it cuts the lower frequencies in the uh, spectrum between 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz. And same applies to LPF, we call it high cut filter because we cut the higher frequencies in the uh, frequency spectrum between 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and uh, now i will demonstrate it on the computer screen showing few diagrams and uh, how to apply hpf and lpf using parametric eq and the correct method to apply it like um, a lot of uh, people audio technicians or engineers sometimes what they do is they apply hpf and lpf in many devices in the audio signal chain which to me is not correct uh, anyways i'll show you on the pc screen uh, what it is and we'll discuss there all right so see you on the pc screen all right, guys, uh, so this diagram, I've taken it from the Yamaha Sound Reinforcement Handbook, the second edition, uh, which uh, in all my videos, I highly recommend for any uh, audio operator, technician or engineer uh, uh, to read at least once in their lifetime, because uh, uh, this has got a lot of information related to uh, live sound reinforcement. Uh, so uh, if you look at this diagram guys uh, you can see here is our input which is our audio source and here is our output right here uh, which is uh, our destination or you could say it's our speakers right here uh, so uh, in between the audio signal chain uh, in this diagram you can see right here there is HPF uh, high pass filter applied and LPF low pass filter applied uh, now, why I said that uh, this should be applied once in the audio signal chain. So, like, let's say uh, if we apply HPF and LPF uh, on parametric EQ, which I'll show you in a minute, and then later uh, we have a graphics equalizer like this one, like which is shown in this uh, diagram. Then we apply HPF and LPF uh here as well and then when the signal reaches like let's say there is a crossover that sits be before the amplifier and we apply hpf and lpf there as well then we have applied hpf and lpf three times which is uh, the wrong way of uh, applying hpf and lpf in my opinion and uh, it should be applied only once uh on the audio source on that particular channel or channels uh, all right guys uh, so uh, i'll explain you using this uh, yamaha ag uh, dsp controller app uh, because this is the only uh, app available at this stage uh, uh, which i can utilize to show you what is hpf and lpf so as you can see right here in this box uh, i have five band parametric eq and uh, uh, i have selected high pass filter which is right here represented in h and i have assigned at 120 hertz now if you look here at 120 hertz it's not cutting all the frequencies as you can see this line right here it's gradually dropping uh, so so basically it's not attenuating the signal like it's not a limiter uh, uh, like that slashing uh, the entire signal so basically uh, if you apply high pass filter uh, between 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz spectrum or in the audio signal chain and you can select at what frequency you wanna 
uh, uh, apply the high pass filter so I have selected 120 Hertz now when I'm speaking anything below 120 Hertz uh, is it's it's getting processed in the signal chain but as you can see in relation on in ratio to the db value which is mentioned here vertically a minus 20 db minus 10 db so if we take zero as the middle can you see like it's gradually falling so still the signal uh, like let's say at minus 10 db uh, right here at minus 10 db and if i come down right here so this is like about 80 hertz so 80 hertz is going to the signal chain but at the level of minus 10 db uh, so a high pass filter is applied at 120 hertz uh, now if you look here uh, number four is basically my low pass filter as you can see i've applied low pass filter at 4983 hertz uh, right here and uh, the icon to represent low pass filter is this icon right here and high pass filter is this icon right here so uh, let me just load another settings to the mixer so this is a uh, more practical uh, a low pass filter for uh, vocals or speech and stuff so if you look here like number four the low pass filter i've applied at 12 1 2, 9, 8, 8, or basically 13 thousand hertz so low pass filter is usually applied on the higher side of the frequency spectrum to cut the higher frequencies that's why it's called low pass filter or high cut filter because it cuts the uh, higher frequencies from the signal chain and the high pass filter is called high pass filter or low cut filter i know uh, this can be confusing because high pass filter and then it's called low cut filter but let's just stick to high pass filter and low pass filter the main reason i mentioned the other two names because they are used in the pro audio industry as well so uh, i've already explained you like high pass filter like the, in, in this setting it's 80 hertz so anything uh, below 80 hertz it's getting cut from the signal gradually so again if you take a look at minus 10 db then about 60 hertz which is right here 60 hertz is going to the signal chain but at the level of minus 10 db and same applies to low pass filter like at any frequencies above 13,000 hertz uh, they are going to the signal chain but then they are gradually uh, going down in the db level so like let's say at minus 10 db like let's say 18k right here if you take this point right here and come down like 18k is going to the signal chain but at the level of minus 10 db as you can see with this arc following gradually like right here as well all right guys uh, uh, this is uh, basically high pass filter and low pass filter. I would recommend it to apply on audio sources at parametric EQ uh, level and then later in the audio signal change don't chain don't apply it to like graphics EQ or crossover just apply it once. The main reason for that is if you apply uh, HPF and LPF at parametric EQ level in the audio signal chain and then later apply it at GQ GEQ level and then crossover level and if your settings are offset by like let's say here I have applied at 80 Hertz and at crossover level I have applied at 120 Hertz then uh, basically that's not true representation of what you want to achieve uh, out of your audio signal so just keep it intact apply it once in the audio signal chain on that particular uh, audio source channel or audio sources or channels all right guys uh, uh, so that's my explanation of high pass filter and low pass filter
okay guys uh, hope uh, you have liked this short video about uh, HPF and LPF in the audio signal chain and how to apply it and how not to apply it if you have any questions uh, related to this then please ask in the comments below and uh, I'll get back to you in due time and uh, if you have liked this video click on the like icon share the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i see you in next video take care bye bye